This is your arm. This is the armpit, that ball. Your arm moves, your shoulder moves like this, but there is no motion in it. You cannot do this. It's your shoulder rotating on this ball. So now you see this move here. There's a ball poked right onto my rear foot. All my moves are the shoulder moving. That ball does not move. If you have anything that moves or moves, it's lost. So Feng's move of this move is actually like this. The reason he does that is because he doesn't want to move here. So now you see most of Feng's moves are like this here. So that this actually is locked. And practical method is exactly the same. But when people don't do it right, they are moving. This is the dot in your armpit. This is your shoulder on top of it. You have to do this. You can't do this. The bottom is the qua, the top is the shoulder. The shoulder, so if I ignore the bottom, the shoulder has to do these kind of things. And the bottom of the qua, you have to imagine there is something there. Your qua has to be able to move just like that, but every move is upwards. But when we say go down, it means this whole system goes down. It does not mean your qua collapses. So that's why when I say you go down, but you go, don't go down. In the very early years, James, you remember I used to uh, sing like that all the time. I say go down, but don't go down. Go down, but not down. It means the two are intact. You are moving your body up and down like this. If you go like this, you are collapsing. Then your body collapses into it. And if you are moving like this, this is called protruding. Your shoulder is protruding, but your whole body goes like this. You still have this relationship, that's fine.